joined here today with Kim Crockett from B. Fisher, here to talk about their upcoming color run. Tell me a little bit about how the color run started. Yeah, the color run, it's, uh, it's a, an initiative we started up uh, six years ago now. And the idea, it's uh, an opportunity for us not only to do a little bit of fundraising for our, for our center and for the clients that we uh, work with, but also it's an opportunity just to create some awareness of what their needs are and just get uh, our, our clientele and the friends of the Bee Fisher out into the community. And tell me a little bit about what Bee Fisher does and um, the and how they are involved in the community. Sure. So, Bee Fisher, our focus is primarily working with individuals who have developmental disabilities, and pr we provide a wide variety of services to them. Uh, things like uh, job skills, life skill coaching. We provide housing for them as well, and we try to just help them get integrated into the community. And sometimes that helps just break down some of the barriers that they might have. Um, with the public themselves, maybe not quite sure how to, to uh, connect with or how to um, just operate with uh, our, some of our clientele. And by getting them out into the community, it's, uh, it's just a chance to break down those barriers and they get a chance to just rub shoulders and say, hey, it's just another person no different than me. And for people who don't, have never been to the Color Run or um, don't even know what it is, can you tell me about what people can expect when they um, sign up or they come to participate? Sure. Well, first of all, expect a really big crowd. And uh, what we look forward to with the Color Run is uh, it's about a five kilometer run or a walk, depending on how you want to do that, navigate through uh, the trails of Bud Miller Park. And every so often there's going to be some stations with uh, people with all sorts of color and they're going to be uh, blasting the people that are going around with the color and at the end of the finish line it should look like a pretty big rainbow of people and there'll be a bit of a celebration at the end and some food and just a really good time. And how long has the color run been um, happening? This is the sixth year we've been operating the color run and a uh, little bit of a change this year. We're going to run it on a Friday evening, Friday, May the 24th and uh, just hoping that the change gives a, a chance for people to come out that might not otherwise have attended and uh, still gives them a whole weekend. They can enjoy the rest of the weekend themselves. And what are the proceeds um, going towards? I know it's going back into mm -hmm. Bee Fisher, but um, what exactly will it be going to? So this year, the, uh, all the proceeds are going to be officially kickstarting a campaign. We're trying to raise a quarter million dollars towards improving our network of group homes in Lloydminster. And this will be some of that seed money that helps get that initiative going. And for people who may not know, how can they get involved with the Color Run? Okay, a couple different ways. Uh, if they want to participate in the run itself, they can come into the Bee Fisher Center and pick up a registration form. They can go online uh, and register online at 5k.bfisher.com. Or if they simply want to volunteer and help out, and we do have a need for, for volunteers as well, uh, they can simply call our B. Fisher Center office and I'll be happy to chat with them. We'll find them a spot and that number is 780-875-3633. And if um, people ca can't make it to the run but they still want to get involved or uh, donate, how can they, um, how can they do so? Uh, just to become a friend of the B. Fisher, certainly the, what we operate is something called the B. Fisher Foundation and it functions really to support the work of the B. Fisher Center and simply any donation made payable to the B. Fisher Foundation will be allocated back towards this same project. And really quickly before uh, we wrap mm -hmm. up, if anyone wants any more information on B. Fisher or the Color Run itself, how, um, how can they do that? Certainly they can uh, look into our website. Uh, bfisher.com. They can certainly phone the center themselves, the number I mentioned, um, give myself or Darcy Pollard, our CEO, any one of us would be happy to just explain a little bit more about the work that we do in the, in the community. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Good. Thank Thanks. you.